Follow me. Anyone out there? I got your back. Big firing. This could be the fifth time I've forgotten the code to my desktop terminal. I really must learn to be more organized. The password for my terminal is Formicidine. How hard could that be for me to remember? Note to self, destroy this holotape as soon as move to new lab is complete. Come on, tell me already! Oh no. What happened? He's... He's dead? I guess I already knew. Besides, I'm too tired to cry anymore. You gotta stop it, so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. I wish I had met you a long time ago. And then maybe my dad would still be alive. Thanks for doing all this. I'm feeling better now that you're here. If you look around enough in Great Itch, you might find some useful stuff people left behind. with this one.
firing. Hey, you like that? Blood.
until you startled me. You really mustn't creep up on people like that. That is precisely why this is the ideal place for my work. Do you realize you're trampling about in a delicately balanced and highly sensitive experimentation area? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh wait, I'm a scientist, how marvelous. My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? Hmm, well, let me see. Well, you start with a generation of very large ants. You simply inject the current brood's eggs with an engineered mutagen. Then the next generation should be smaller. Do it enough times and you may be able to reduce them back to their once original tiny size. Well, I'm afraid I've made slight miscalculations in the mutagen. Instead of lowering their size, the brood hatched with a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but, but I can't get near my equipment. I'm afraid it's not that simple. The mutagen has already been injected into the Ant Queen. She has enough in her body to last for years. My problem right now is I can't reach my terminal to make the proper adjustments and repair the damage I've caused. Since you've offered, allow me to elaborate. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. If she were harmed in any way, months of data would be lost. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Filthy little abominations. I've rigged the equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So that's all there is to it. What do you say? You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. Far too curious. His incessant questioning would often come when I was the most absorbed with my calculations. He had no regard for the importance of my work. All scientists take responsibility for their failures because it comes with the territory. I will take this experimentation to completion without roosting on the moral high ground. If I allow emotions to enter the mix, all this time and energy spent will have been for nothing. You have your ideals and I have mine. I'm down here to complete my experiments at any cost. If that means the loss of a few lives to save generations of lives in the future, it's a small price to pay. I can't risk leaving this place. I have to continue monitoring the hatchery for any further mutations in the next brood. I have no time for children and their petty games. What do they know about the importance of my work? Yes? Well, the mutagen has enhanced their fortitude and provided them with what I call pyrosis, the ability to emit flame biologically. They're quite radiation-free, however. Well, as radiation-free as any other mutated creature in the wasteland. 
playing with genetic codes isn't simple. Do you realize one tiny tweak at any point in the last million years could have completely changed us? Going from attempting to change their size to generating their pyrosis ability is no surprise at all. I'm afraid they are not susceptible to anything I can think of that wouldn't harm the garden variety giant ant. Just aim for their antennae if you can. It will confuse them quite a bit. The stimulation of the subject's evolutionary trigger by the mutagen caused a biodefensive reaction metamorphosing the ant's venom glands. This process caused unexpected oscillations in the venom molecules at such a vast rate it produces a thermodynamic biochemical reaction. As the subject ejects the volatile solution, it becomes conflagrant due to new structures in its maw I call its calefaction array. Amazing, isn't it? Yes. Oh my, yes, they're quite marvelous. There are many that say it can't be done, but I'll prove them wrong. By introducing my mutagen directly into an ant egg, I hope to reduce the size of the adults. This is a generational system, meaning it will take quite a few broods before the ants are at their destination size. In the end, I hope to make them as small as they were over 200 years ago. Destroy? Oh, no, no, no! You mustn't do that. It's my life's work. Just clear me a path to my equipment and I'll do the rest when you tell me it's safe. I've detected some changes within the Queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? Oh, how marvelous! Please, tell me what happened. Then I will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes to the formula. Thanks very much for everything. You've been quite a useful lab assistant. How marvelous! Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant sight or ant might? How marvelous! Ant might it is! Hold still, please. Yes, what did you need? You should take him away from this place. Find him a home. It would be difficult to accomplish my experiments with him scampering about and asking an interminable amount of questions. Yes? Well, I will continue my research. There has to be a way to reduce these creatures to their former size. Until then, I will be staying in my shack next to the Wilkes' home, should you ever wish to visit me. Much to do, so much to do. Well now, if it isn't the little saint from the vault. We've been looking for you. Someone's put quite a price on your head. What? You think you can walk around the wasteland doing the things that you do and there isn't going to be someone who takes notice? Such a shame. I hear that you could have been something useful. Ah well, time to die. Ha! I love it when they go down fighting. Over here!
Now I know what a TV dinner feels like. It was so weird. All of a sudden, the ants went nuts and started fighting each other. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? I wish I had something to give you for all the work you did, but I never really had much to start with. I guess now you'll be on your way and I'll have to try living here by myself. Hope you'll come back and visit someday. Really? You mean it? Oh boy, thank you so much. I'll wait in my old house for you to come back. I need to bury my papa anyway. Just don't forget about me. Well, Papa always told me about my cousin Vera. She lives in some big giant ship somewhere or something. Papa called the place Rivet City, but I don't know where it is. You're pretty swell for a grown-up. 